I like to think of Whistler sort of as the New York City of of ski towns. You know, it's it's one of those places like you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. This is kind of the place that you go if you want to see how you stack up. From a mainstream point of view, there is sacrifice to live here. You come here when you're ready for a real experience and the thing is, the people that do decide to come here, the people that make this place home, the people that come back and visit year after year, they get it. They get that there's something authentic and real here that you just don't find in other places. We're after those feelings, those sensations that you only get by doing something that puts you right in the moment, that makes you feel alive, that inspires you. It's one of those hubs. It's like a, a, a magnetic place that draws creative, interesting people from around the world, and it benefits everyone. You get a critical mass of people thinking like that. You, you end up with a community like Whistler. Vancouver Island in a small town called Campbell River and I didn't really think that that a kid like me could ever become a pro. I didn't really have those kinds of aspirations. I just loved skiing. It wasn't until I'd actually moved to Whistler that all of a sudden like instead of being kind of the one skier that I might see in my town or, or you might see skis on a car and get kind of excited, all of a sudden I was surrounded by all these people that, that were living for the mountains and living for that powder day. Whistler certainly attracts many of the best photographers and filmmakers. You know, you can go on and on. There's, there's so many greats that are based here, and I can't think of a more vibrant art scene in a mountain community. I think Whistler has been at the forefront of, of celebrating mountain culture, because there's nothing else like it. There's no other place in the world where Photographers will get celebrated the way they do in Whistler, standing ovations from a thousand people. I mean, I don't care who you are, that is, that's something that, that, that makes you feel alive. Culture doesn't come from, from just a bunch of people toasting at parties. It comes from a, a diverse range of people. There's real people in this town. That's something that we've been really lucky to preserve. From unique places come cool ideas. That's something that Whistler's been able to cultivate is, is to use our weather, our ruggedness, our people as a form of inspiration. As the ski community, we need to celebrate that. We need to not forget like where we came from and it's something special. <laughs> 